Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Silver. You can't tell, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm recording this right now because uh, it's nighttime. Uh, I guess I'll do the real intro to the video in the morning because this is after I got off of work. Uh, I'm just getting up. I've been working a little bit on making sure that Luna can evolve. So I just want to make sure that we got this because I'm really tired. I was planning on recording after work, but I had to um, I had to stay after work for a little bit. So either way, I wanted to at least make sure that we got Luna where she needs to be. Her happiness is the uh, is at the correct level. So therefore, once Lu Luna levels up one more time, she's finally gonna evolve. Now, Luna, you've taken so long to evolve, but you're finally ready. It's taken for goddamn. <laughs> happiness evolutions in Gen Two are just really bad to do. In later generations, it becomes way easier, but in this generation, it's just a pain in the ass. But it doesn't matter, for Luna is finally about to reach her namesake, as it's fucking, like, 12.45 a.m. Go for it, Luna. Become what you are supposed to be. Luna is trying to learn focus energy. Yes, this is the entire reason we got to level 36. We love focus energy. I don't need to learn focus energy. That's the problem. Anyway... What? Luna is evolving! Congratulations! Your Luna evolved into Umbreon! Luna is trying to learn Faint Attack. But Luna can't- yeah, that's- This is the reason I wanted to get Luna evolved before 36. Is because she'd learn, um, Faint Attack, which is like- Pretty much the best dark type move in Gen 2. But yes, we decided to turn Luna into the dark type evolution, Umbreon. So now Luna is at her final stage, which is really great for her. She also has like way better stats now. Damn. But yes, Umbreon is a special defense oriented evolution, which means it's not meant to be an attacker. It's meant to be a defensive wall. So we're gonna have to plan Luna's new move set around that. But it'll be nice to do that. Hell, we could also, while I still have some sort of consciousness, I also worked up um, Narwhals since he's at level 30, 33 and he's got like, you know, 266 experience left. So, you know, I think Narwhals deserves to get evolved tonight, even if I have like little to no brain cells. I'm here right in front of Olivine City. This is actually a really good place to grind at this point in the game. If I can actually, you know trigger an encounter. There we go. I'm just so tired. I'm, I'm exhausted from work. But I really wanted to uh, at least get, like, you know, something in. I wanted to get something in before I went to bed and stuff like that. I, I feel like I feel like the, the future destroyers require at least their final forms is, you know, we're gonna make sure that they get all of their final forms. Everybody else is, like, all the way evolved. It's just narwhals waiting here at the very beginning. He's, re he's ready to become even stronger than before. He got a crit right there. Or she got a crit. I remember, my entire team are females. Narwhals leveled to level 20... Or, 34. What? Narwhals is evolving. Congratulations. Your Narwhals evolved into Dugong. Very good, very good. Either way, like I said, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you guys in five seconds when it's morning. Alright, so, I'm back after a night of sleep. Sorry about that first little part of the episode. I just really wanted to make sure that, um, what are their names? Narwhals and, uh, Luna both got to their full evolution. So at this point, I finally have my fully evolved team, but last time on Pokemon Silver, we were trying to get through Claire's gym. Had a real tough time of it because Claire is kind of, you know, the one good gym leader so far that we, it took us a while to, like, figure out the strategy for. And the strategy is to make sure our team is all prepared and leveled up. So, as you can see during the first part of the episode, we got Narwhals to Evolves. <laughs> Narwhals is now a Dugong, and Luna, wherever the hell Luna is right now, is we're just taking a look at our entire team. 
Look at look at our entire team. Luna is now an Umbreon. So yes, our team has finally reached its final state. From here, all they can do is just level up, which is exactly what I want them to do, but sadly there will be no more evolutions. But, you know, that's okay in my book, seeing as we've got a pretty stacked team right here. The only one that I'm kind of disappointed in right now is Shantae, but that's just because she can't do anything, so... Don't worry, at some point she can finally do something, but now that we have Narwhals at level 35, uh, I think Narwhals is about to completely annihilate fucking Claire, so, you know, enough about that, we, we got beat, we got our asses beat last time, we're gonna beat her ass this time, you know, I'd be completely okay with beating her ass, or she could beat my ass, <laughs> Just, oh. yeah, I'm feeling sick right now, but yeah, I wanted to record that like, first part of the episode, like, after I got done with work, but I was so exhausted with work that I could barely even speak. I was just like, evolve. I was just like, I just cannot function, because it was a long day of work. But either way, we're back for some more Pokemon Silver, and I'm going to fucking annihilate this thing. But yeah, last time we had quite a bit of trouble dealing with, um, uh, Claire, but that was mostly because... A lot of our Pokemon just haven't gotten many levels. Bella is the only one that's at level 40. And mostly just because she grinded throughout the entire, uh, what's it called? Rocket Hideout quest. So it's like... She got all the experience from that event where, like, most of our other team members didn't even, like, play factors in it. So, therefore, we had to work on, you know, making sure that they're prepared for this final gym fight. And it's gonna be kind of, you know, lackluster, knowing that it's like... Oh, it's the second time around. It's like, eh, <laughs> not as special as you could say. I'm just gonna let narwhals annihilate everything. And it goes to show, narwhals can be really good. Also, and get a critical hit if narwhals is allowed to evolve. Dugong is a much cooler looking Pokemon, in my opinion. Seal looks really stupid with its goddamn tongue and stupid, like, puffy face. Where Dugong looks sleek and beautiful, like a real narwhal. I mean, they both have horns, but, like, Narwhals is a lovable, lovable, uh, Narwhal now. Narwhals is a Narwhal. It's like calling your dog, Dog. Dog, come here, Dog. Come, Dog. Come here, Dog. <laughs> now I'm just thinking of Half-Life 2 at that point. But either way, we're probably going to annihilate, uh, Claire in this episode. I almost called her Chris. Well, I wouldn't want to fight a Chris, but still... <laughs> These fucking, uh, Dragonairs are, like, completely useless in the face of Narwhals. who's just like, Aurora Beam, Aurora Beam, Aurora Beam, Surf. It's just like how it goes. And then Narwhals can just, like, sleep. You see, Narwhals is- I'm, I've been saying that word so many times in this episode, but it's like, it's just a fun word to say. Narwhals, Narwhals. But anyway, uh, she's doing pretty goddamn good. I'm gonna make her go to bed, though. Rest is going to be important. Hell, I could give her Sleep Talk. I mean, I think Narwhals is gonna die right here, but... You know, she lasted a really long time in comparison to everybody else. Um... You know what, Shantae? You can do this. You get this, Shantae! You get this, Cynic! You know, that kind of fits because I'm playing Sonic Adventure 2. And, uh, Sonic X Shadow Generations is coming out. If not already come out at this point. Like, it's October 20th, so... Either way, uh, I think we're pretty much fucked right here. Shantae, you're trying your best. Because your best move is literally just Nightshade. Oh! Okay, it wasn't a crit. Though it almost, it looked like that would have been crit level damage, but uh... She's even stronger than we even thought before. Fly away! Okay, uh, uh Well, Shantae got, like, her to half, like, down to half. I know that Claire used a Hyper Potion last time on her Kingdra, so... There's a chance she's gonna do it again, so... I need to take her ass out in one go. Which is gonna be a hell of a trial. I could throw in Luna. We can at least see Umbreon's back sprite. The problem is that when Luna was an Eevee, she was actually a lot stronger in her physical attacks. Now that she's become an Umbreon, her best stat is special defense. So, she's gonna be taking like little to no damage to Kingra's Surf. But she can now not deal that much damage, which is kind of sad, but, you know. We'll work with it. Your smoke screen doesn't matter, because Faint Attack is like a dark swift. So it's like, I will hit 100% of the time. I just won't be hitting very hard. Yeah, not hitting all that hard. Kind of the point of Umbreon is less of being like an attacker, more of being like a special wall. So, 
We have to, like I said last night, I guess, we're going to have to shift around Luna's entire moveset to be less about being like a physical attacker, more about being a defensive wall, which means we're going to have to get moves that help, you know, with that being a wall, which we're going to, we're going to get over time. Also, <laughs> I think I've broken the AI for Kingdra. As you can see, once I leveled up just a little bit more and like got my team prepared, this gym is like fucking nothing. Narwhal's eliminated three parts of it. And Luna's just like sitting there like, I don't give a shit. She also got a lot more health. Yeah, Kingdra, you... <sighs> you may have been scary like last episode, but uh, <laughs> you're worth fucking dog shit now. Luna, take her out! Use the super suck! Oh shit right there. And that's why you pull out the quick attack and you end this battle. Oh shit, oh. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about that. My accuracy is dog shit right now. Ah, uh, just knock it out using faint attack. <laughs> they used like six smoke screens on me, so the only attack that will hit at this point is faint attack. If I, if I, if I hit that quick attack, I would have been super lucky. Later, Leader Claire was defeated. I lost. I don't believe it. There must be some mistake. She doesn't want to admit she's been beaten. Or she beat my ass. I won't admit this. I may have lost, but you're still not ready for the Pokemon League. I know. You should take the Dragon User Challenge. Behind this gym is a place called Dragon's Den. Go and bring me the Dragon Fang from deep inside the den. That is the test to be accepted as a true Dragon User. If you can do that, I will accept you as a worthy trainer. Until then, I won't give you a badge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one of the gym leaders just started crying when I beat them. This one's just like, okay, go take on the dragon user challenge. It's like, dude, I don't use any dragons. <laughs> My entire team is not based on dragons. It's like sending somebody to like... <laughs> You beat them in a Pokemon card game, and it's like, you have to beat me in engineering. It's like, you must now go to MIT and learn how to become an engineer. It's like, that's not how that works, Dave, but okay. Dave. Either way, now we can go ahead and go back here. Dragon's Den ahead. What do you gotta say, old man? Since Claire, the Dragon Master, has allowed it, you may enter. Okay. Guess you're not allowed to go into here unless you beat Claire. Either way, it's just like a little mini dungeon, really. It's just like a cave that you need to swim around in until you find the dragon fang. Which is just sitting out in the open in this version of the game. But you can find your teenies in here. So if you wanted to get like a dragon type for your team, you'd be able to get it in here, but... That's not my plan. I, I don't need any dragon types. <laughs> my team is fully complete at this point. But yeah, it's just like a little dungeon you gotta get around in. It's annoying. It's annoying! Dragon Shrine. A shrine honoring the dragon Pokemon said to have lived in Dragon's Den. Cool, I can't get around it. I'm like, cool, I can't go in there. It's like, good job. But yeah, I'm still feeling kind of sick. Oh god, I need fucking Whirlpool. I was thinking I was gonna get, have to get Whirlpool. This game wouldn't be fun without throwing HMs in my face and screaming at me to use them. It's like... Dude, Whirlpool is dog. Whirlpool is shit. <laughs> Claire's like, this is the best thing ever. Hallelujah! It's like, I want to die instead. Anyway, yeah. So if I sound nasally, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just like, fucking... I am nasally. I am what I am. You are what you are. I am what I am. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou shall be sick for the rest of time. That's how I feel every day. Either way, if I sound like I'm dying, I probably am. Doesn't really matter, because all you can do when you're on the backlog is die. <laughs> Anytime I force somebody to be on the backlog, it's just, I am dying perpetually. And it's like, that's pretty cool. I don't, I don't know what's up with that fucking... <laughs> I don't know what was up with that voice crack, but... You know, it was deserved. I didn't want that to happen to you, but it's what you deserved. Anyway, narwhals, go inside of the fucking bank. I'm going to take Dan out. Dan the man, Sam Lie Dam. Where the fuck he is? I guess we could use Kyle. But I don't want to put HMs on Kyle. I love Kyle too much to make him horrible. Then again, he is pretty goddamn bad, but still. <laughs> but still. You know, go ahead. 
walk all the way back and use my bike. Use my goddamn bike. So go up this way. But yeah, we have eight. Well, technically we have eight gym badges because Claire's being a bitch and doesn't want us to have it. It's like literally, why? What is up with the gym leaders in Johto? All just being like whiny pieces of shit that don't want to give me badges. It's like, what? <laughs> Are you trying to communicate something to me, Nintendo? Are you trying to communicate something to me? Let's see, go all the way around and then use damn. I really don't know why Whirlpool's even in this game. Like, I understand trying to block off the Whirl Islands, because it's like, oh, that's where the legendary Pokemon is hiding and you can't get to him until you get the item. But it's like, why do we have to do this for even areas like this? It's like, what the fuck? Okay, so, we're almost there. Almost there. It should be right up in here, right? Yeah, this is it. So we found a Dragon Fang. Whoa! It's no use, Dragon Fang! Why didn't Silver just use his psychic powers and pick them all up? Also, something I've noticed from this Let's Play, I don't feel like the team that I've created is as much of a family as Dio's team was. I just, like, I've noticed that for some reason. But, you know, we'll make them a family nonetheless. Alright, I recognize your true power. This badge is yours. Silver received Rising Badge. He's rising! <laughs> Metal Gear Revengeance Rising Roofs of Bob's Wolves. Pokemon to you Pokemon to use the move for climbing waterfalls. What? I must have skipped a dialogue because that doesn't make any sense. Also, all Pokemon will recognize you as a trainer and obey your every command without question. I also want you to have this TM. Silver received TM24. Cool. You're gonna probably tell me what it is, ain't you? That contains dragon breath. No, it doesn't have anything to do with my breath. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give me your breath. Somebody be into it. Somebody would be into it. If you don't want to have it, you don't have to take it. So you've collected all the badges. Your destination is the Pokemon League in Indigo Plateau. Do you know how to get there? From here, go to New Bark Town. Then surf east. The route there is very tough. Don't you dare lose at the Pokemon League. If you do, I'll feel even worse about having lost to you. Damn. Claire, why do you gotta be so tsundere? Anyway, that means now I have to walk all the way back out. Yay! Very much yay. Anyway, like I said, I, I don't feel like my team is like so much of a family. Because like in the last Let's Play, it felt like everybody had their role in this weird-ass family. This family doesn't feel as connected. They feel like a bunch of assholes who've come together <laughs> and don't really know each other. We need to we need to find some like dynamics between them all. Well, I would say that Bella would probably be like the big sister of the group, as she's the one who's been with Silver the longest. Oh, I'm getting a call. Ah, oh, it's Eggman. Hello, Silver. I have something here for you. Could you swing by my lab? See you later. Extra out. <laughs> Eggster, whoa! <laughs> Sonny Sonic's just in the background hanging out, I guess. But yeah, like I said, um, Bella would probably be like the big sister type. She's just really into goth punk music, and everybody just looks up to her as the big sister. But she's got controversy, because, like, her ancestors, you know. <laughs> so she's got controversy flying over her, but the team loves her nonetheless. Um, I would say, like, Luna would be, like... I guess, what would you call it? Um, the late bloomer, because it took her forever to evolve. So she's just like really, really, uh, what's it called? Um, unsecure? Is that? Very anxious about her evolving really late, and like Bella's just always trying to tell her that it's fine that you evolved late. But she's just very anxious about it, so that's why she like, she try that kind of makes sense, because like she turned into a dark type, so she's trying to like replicate her, uh, big sister but it's just like it, it, it's not it's not the exact same she went over she went too over the top from goth just to complete and utter like death metal so it's just like yeah and then um narwhals is the idiot of the group narwhals can't even think it doesn't even speak it just screams the word narwhals and it just kills everything it sees. It just it doesn't even know that it, it's it, it's alive in some way. Zone 
I would say Zone is like, um, Narwhals is like, uh, what do you call it? Just like, a uh, helper, in a way. <laughs> zone helps Narwhals, like, exist, because Zone can, like, translate what Narwhals is saying. Because it only says the word Narwhals, but Zone can understand it perfectly, so he helps translate to the group. And then, um, Shantae, I mean, just like a Zatu, it also doesn't really speak, it just stares into the sun. And everybody's very concerned for her well-being, but she actually likes staring to the sun. And then Zoe's just the, the the child of the group. She had, doesn't have much of a personality yet. I don't know if that's how I'll stick with it, but for now, that's how I'm going to, like, categorize the group. Like, Bella's the big sister. Uh, Luna's the late bloomer. Uh, Shantae is, like, the weirdo. <laughs> the weirdo obsessed with the sun. Narwhals cannot say anything but narwhals. Zone has to translate for the two that cannot even speak. And then, like, fucking, I guess just Zoe is just extremely worried about why this group is so fucked up. And then Silver's just completely okay with it all happening. He, he, all he's cared about is, like, defeating Iblis. And Iblis doesn't even exist, so he's just, like, he's just very confused on where he is at all times. He thinks this is going to stop Iblis. I don't think it is. Ah, uh, hi, Silver! Thanks to you, my research is going great! Take this as a token of my appreciation! Silver received Master Ball. Cool. Silver put the Master Ball in the ball pocket. The Master Ball is the best! It's the ultimate ball! It will catch any Pokémon without fail! It's given only to recognized Pokémon researchers! I think you can make better use of it than I can, Silver. Well, thanks, Eggman. I don't know why you gave this to me, but okay. Probably just because I have all eight badges. Oh god, my fucking throat hurts like hell. I must drink water. I must drink water. Oh god, my throat. No good. Either way, now that we have all eight badges, we can finally start heading this direction. So... Thanks for the repel wearing off, I guess. Either way, this big old body of water to the right of our hometown has existed the entire game. And I just haven't walked over far enough to show you guys it exists. But this is the way that we're going to get to the Indigo Plateau. Because if you remember on the map screen, there's one route that leads east of New Barktown and nowhere else on the map. So, just like how you had to kind of return to like one of the beginning towns back in Gen 1, you have to do the same to go to the Pokemon League, so... I don't know if our team is really prepared for the Pokemon League. We're all in, like, the 30s at this point, with Shantae being our lowest level, and Bella being our highest level at 40, so it's like... I don't know how prepared we'll really be for the rest of the game. Definitely gonna require, like, a grinding session at some point, but for now, we can at least start on our way to the Indigo Plateau. Why is that name so familiar? I don't know. Either way. We just encounter, encounter, encounter a random Pokemon. It's a Tentacruel. <laughs> Tentacruel, why you gotta be so cruel? Don't worry, Zoe will fucking stomp your life out. But yeah, Zoe's uh, move list is kind of weird. I pretty much made her entire move list based around using, uh, what's it called, Flail? By using Takedown to lower their health, and then using Flail to hit with, like, massive damage. Because... Sadly, Zoe's not going to get a ground-type move for a very long time. Oh, these guys give good experience out here. Either way, I'm just going to walk by here. I should probably use a Repel to make sure we can just get through here without having, having to do too many fights. Because I think there, if there's Tentacruel in the water, there's Tentacool in the water. And uh, Tentacools don't give as much experience as a Tentacruel, so... Yeah, I don't want to waste my time on that. I ain't wasting my time on your fat ass. Though I might waste my time on your fat ass. Because still, I waste my time on Claire's fat ass. Oop. <laughs> Oop. Anyway, let's go out this way. Oh, no, there's a fat guy. Hey, do you know what you just did? You've taken your first step into Kanto. Check your Pokegear map and see. I don't have that, sir. I only have the calling feature, and I can only call Joseph. Either way, that's kind of weird. How the fuck are we in Kanto, I wonder? Tojo Falls, the link between Kanto and Johto. So, here's the dealio. If I could look at my map, you'd see that we actually are in Kanto from Gen 1. 
here's the thing. I haven't been talking about it, and most people who've probably played this game already are aware. Johto and Kanto are connected to each other. Johto is just all west of Kanto, and Kanto is east of Johto. We've been playing on the same exact continent we've been playing on in Gen 1. Don't ask how nobody knew that Johto existed back in Gen 1, we just need to retroactively ignore that. Because, like, we can't even... because it didn't exist yet, technically. But, at least in the lore of the games, Johto has existed for this entire time and stuff. But yes, the entirety of Kanto is just to the east of us. So, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It's something that surprised a lot of players back in, you know, 2001. The fact that the entirety of the region from the last game was in this game. So it's kind of crazy that way. Either way, we're here at Tojo Falls, and I've got a problem. I need to climb a waterfall. I don't have the waterfall TM or HM. So therefore, if you try and fly here, you're going to have a problem. Let's see, fly. Okay, maybe not. I'm gonna go ahead and fly back to fucking uh, New Bark Town. But I need to go ahead and go get the Waterfall TM, or HM. Uh, and that was all the way back in the Ice Path. So it's like, I need to go back and redo some of the Ice Path stuff if I want to go ahead. Ah, get this HM that we're gonna need to get the rest of the way. It's really dumb this isn't given by an NPC, but... Whatever, it's hiding inside of the ice path. It's probably in one of those, like, puzzles that we just didn't solve. Because I didn't want to. Is this it? I found a PP. I found those penis points I've always been lurking towards. <laughs> Make sure you increase your penis points every single day. Either way, I'm going to walk all the way back through here. I need to go ahead and find out where the HM was. See, this puzzle should already be solved. Oh, wait, this is a different puzzle, but still, this puzzle should already be solved. Go ahead and re-put on that super repel, because I don't want to encounter anything in here. This is not a great place to grind, really. We are places that we will be seeing soon. Come on. Move, damn it, move. Let's see. I already got the one right there. Yeah, it requires rock smash. Okay, so, I think it was over here. Not in the puzzle, not in the strength puzzle. I think it was right after that big room puzzle that I, like, just fucking died at. Because I was being really bad at it. Let's see, I think it's that one right there. I think that's where the waterfall HM is. I just decided not to get it because I'm lazy. I'm a lazy piece of shit. Hmm, okay. Like this. There we go. Silver found HM07. That should be the one for Waterfall, so... That'll be nice to have that unlocked already. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get the fuck out of here. Damn. The rappel wore off. I'm pissed. Let's see. Just trying to get the fuck out of here, dude. I don't want to have encounters in here. There's Jinx! Oh, God! She's gonna use her big, thick lips to do something horrible to me. Zo! Break her neck! Wait, she doesn't have a neck. SHIT! <laughs> I mean, you know, Jinx was really useful in our Pokemon Stadium Let's Play. So it's like, I won't put down the power of a Jinx, but still. Scary. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead. We would have to teach Waterfall to somebody, which is really annoying. But I guess it just needs to be done, which means that Dan is going to learn Waterfall. He's just gonna know all of our horrible Water-type moves. Water-type HMs that we just don't want. And Surf. But Surf is just a good move in general, so it's like... Bleh, whatever. Anyway, I'm sorry, Narwhals. You already proved your power this episode. So instead, we're gonna have Dan do what needs to be done by me and help my brother to defeat the enemy. Which I don't know who the enemy is, but I'm gonna defeat them. Thank you, Danathan. Daniel, you may even say. Durneth. Durklog. Darth. Barth? Garth? <laughs> Bark? <laughs> Let's see. Um, I must teach him... Where is it? There we go. Waterfall. Really annoying that we have to know this move as well. No one else can learn it but Dan. <laughs> it's really sad. I'm just turning him into an HM anchor at this point. She's like, I don't... 
I don't really care about you. <laughs> the one shiny, and he's just holding all the dead moves in his hands. It's like, that's really sad. Anyway, we can also try and see... Uh, can anything learn Dragon Breath? I really don't think it can. He can learn it, but he's not useful. You serve zero purpose! Okay, so... Luna could learn it? Uh... I mean... Just not useful, really. It's like, just not useful. I could teach her, uh, Attract. It would be useful, because it'd be part of, like, a stalling tactic. And she is female, and there's a lot more male Pokemon in the game. <laughs> Zone can't learn it, because he has no gender. Anyway, I think I might try and teach Attract to Luna, because it can help with stalling. Let's see, let's get rid of Quick Attack. I feel like Quick Attack will not be useful. Theoretically, maybe, but I don't know. Teach you to track. Attract. <laughs> attract. Then if I could find Toxic, that would be even better, because it would make sure that, like... Well, now she'll just sit there and, uh, never die. She'll sit there and, uh, never die. And I am A-OK -okay with that. Anyway, we're gonna go back this direction. Because now we can finally get over the Tojo Falls, but they're what separates, um, Johto from Kanto. So it's like, we gotta go over there if we wanna get to this next area. Which is where the, like, league is, so... You go ahead and get over there. Do 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 do. The surfing music in this game is just way better than Gen 1, I tell you. Anyway, go over this way. And now, if you see these, like, rising waters, or, like, falling waters, more like it, because that's what waterfalls are. Do you want to use Waterfall? Dan used Waterfall. <laughs> we just spin! Spin! But yeah, you can just go down waterfalls normally. We went down a waterfall back in, uh, World Islands. Either way. Oh, hi. It's rare to see anyone come here. Are you training on your own? Uh, technically? <laughs> technically, I guess? Megan! Oh, God! Shut up, Meg. <laughs> the one, the one family guy I know. Anyway, Zo, it might be hard for you to take them down. Let's see what happens. Just use takedown and kill this low form Bulbasaur. Just growling at me. How could he? That sick bastard. I'm gonna flail. Cause I'm so good at that. Ah shit. And then his racial defenses. <laughs> okay. I was planning on using Flail because it can do more damage the lower health you are. But I was also scared it would just use Razor Leaf and fucking annihilate me. Okay, it might annihilate me. Let's see what happens. Uh, Zoe, you better not die, damn it. Okay, it might kill itself, though. <laughs> don't do it, Zoe. Well, now we don't even have the time to use Flail. Miss! Oh, fuck you. Ah, fuck you. Don't worry, Zoe. I know you tried your best. Your best just wasn't enough, though. Anyway. No, not Dan! Da is, there's that animation that comes out whenever you give out a shiny Pokemon. Uh, fucking Dan use Dragon Rage. Dan will fight for his honor. I guess Dan will kill him. Good job, dude. This is going to be fucking, uh... Shantae's time to shine, but I guess Dan wanted to steal the spotlight because he's just that much of a fucking attention whore. Shantae, beat him! Using the one move that you can use, fly. The one move you've got stab with. And you'll stab him! I mean, I guess. You're just gonna hit him with your beak, which, if it's pretty sharp, then, you know, he's dead. You are dead. That's good, amen. It's Ah, come on. Dan gets experience. Dan's never gonna be used. Alright, Shantae, fly out of here! They've got an entire fucking evolution line of a starter right here. Okay. Half damage. Body slam. Ooh, this could hurt. Please, Shantae. Please, Shantae, survive! And she did. So, therefore, she wins. The one fight in which Shantae will be extremely useful. And you're dead. That's good, amen. 
Anyway, she got a, a thousand four hundred twenty-five experience. Jesus. Cold Trainer Megan died. Oh, you're really strong. Uh, I don't think so. I think you're just stupid. Oh, what's in here? Hello. Where are you off to with your Pokemon? Pokemon League. Are your Pokemon loyal enough for you to win? Let me see. If it doesn't come to trust you some more, it could be tough going. Trust is the tie that ties Pokemon and trainers. I guess. Who are you checking? Zoe? Zoe's dead. <laughs> you can't really say that we have bad trust if she's literally fucking dead on the ground. It's like, dang, dude. Dang, dude, you're right. Anyway, I guess Dan got some experience, even though I don't want him here. Wish I could just switch him out for, like, narwhals at this point so that narwhals could get some experience as well, but... You know, this game doesn't like us. This game doesn't enjoy that idea. You look pretty strong. Let me battle you. Man, your porn addiction is really strong. Let me fight it. Okay, Goku, calm down. Blake. Blake Sonichu. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's Zone's brother, Bone. <laughs> oh, God. Um, just pull out Bella. Burn him to death. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm so tired from work last night. <laughs> it's just like, oh, my bones. How are you able to learn Thunderbolt when mine can't? You're cheating, damn it, you're cheating. That's why I'm gonna light you on fire! Or I guess melt you? I guess you can't... Well, you can... I think you can light steel on fire. I mean, if it's covered in oil, then yes. You can mostly just melt it. That's the thing it does. Okay, what you got? Quagsire? I actually have no answer for this. That's kind of interesting. I don't have any grass types on my team, so therefore... Quagsire is the ultimate answer to me. Because, like, I can't hurt that. Interdasting. He, he thought of the one Pokemon that I have no super effectiveness against. I mean, he still kind of sucks, but, like, you know. Doesn't change the fact that if he were really good with Quagsire, then I'd be kind of screwed. At least Bella and Zone would both be dead. Oh, god damn, he's got Earthquake. That sick bastard. Well, Bella's... Bella's alive. Bella is alive. Now I must honor my city by throwing rocks at you. Bella's defending the rest of the... rest of the party using our big sister instincts by chucking rocks at a fucking quagsire. I don't know... What was the... What is the deal with your team? I mean, it's at least more spread out than other teams, but it's like... Execute, Quagsire, and Magneton. It's like... All over the place. Kind of all over the place, I would say. Either way, you are now dead. That's good, Amen. Yes. Blake has been defeated. Yow! Yow! What the fuck that means? Anyway, I want to see. Can I use fly? Nope, it'll just send me back to Johto. I wanted to look at the map, but I guess I'm not allowed to. God damn it. <laughs> you showed up out of nowhere. Hmm, you're good, aren't you? You beat up Blake, the one guy I always sit next to. It's like, they, what do you think all the trainers just talk about when you're not here? Brian? Do they just sit here and think about their feelings, or do they talk? I don't know what the fuck they do. It's like, do y'all do anything while I'm not here, or do you just sit there and, like, stare at each other and you're, like, very confused? Very confused, very confused. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep using Nightshade. Uh, I'm gonna keep using Nightshade. I wish I could take Teleport off my... Uh, like, work list, but it's like... It, like, there's no other moves Shantae can learn. God damn it. The high critical ra hit ratio. You just got ratioed, man. It's like, god damn. Alright, Luna, you got this. Look at her make noises. Uh, he... I guess we could attract and then mess with him. <laughs> you shall now be in love. And attract is a new move that was introduced in Gen 2 due to the fact that... Um, gen that gen yeah, the genitals were introduced. Genitals were introduced, so therefore, um, Pokemon can now be attracted to each other. Because without genders beforehand, attract would have done nothing really. Because you wouldn't have been able to tell if somebody's male or female. So it's like, you know, I'm unsure. I'm unsure, but yeah, attract is really useful since it stops somebody from moving. It's like an even stronger version of paralysis, 
it just only works on the opposite gender of Pokemon, so... If you don't have an opposite gender, it really doesn't work all that well. Brian was defeated! Just as I thought. Just as I thought, I fucking lost! It's like, yeah, Jimmy, you did. <laughs> oh, I fucking juked you! Fuck. I just wanna- I wanna get to a- somewhere else to heal. You shouldn't underestimate the wild Pokemon in these parts. I mean, I'm not. That's why I'm using repels, damn it. That's why I'm avoiding them. Rianne came to kill me. Damn. Everybody's pulling out the stops to try and kill my ass. It's like, calm down, everyone. I just want to get to the Indigo League. I'll Thunder Punch your star. I'll Thunder Punch Patrick's star. You know there's a Patrick Star game now? And I heard it's just like Goat Simulator. But like, even worse. <laughs> even worse. Anyway, what you got now? Another Starmie. If I outspeed the last one, there's a pretty good chance I'm gonna outspeed the, this next one. And if, he, if she's got like a third star me, I'm just gonna be like, what is the point of this? What was the point of your team? Like, is there synergy that I'm unaware of? Because if there is, I'm gonna be very confused. A Nido Queen. Okay then. Interesting choice. Probably didn't work out all that well, but you know, you, you tried. I mean, I bet it's probably got, like, Earthquake and Bella's gonna die soon, but, you know, Bella survived pretty goddamn long. I mean, it might just die to this body slam. Ooh, you got me paralyzed. That's what happens when a BBW sits on your face, Bella. Just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> and now you're dead. Now you are dead. Um... If only Narwhals was here. Narwhals was here, we wouldn't be, uh, sucking it. The sad thing is that Luna is not male, so therefore, Nidoqueen cannot be attracted. She can never be attracted to someone such as you, Luna. Too bad. Too bad, so sad. Either way, I bet Luna's probably gonna be pulling out the stops at the Elite Four, because I'm gonna bet most of their Pokémon are, like, what's it called? Male. The other problem is, uh, fighting types really hurt Luna. It really hurts! Anyway, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead, that's good, amen. I don't know why I keep, like, quoting that today, but... You know, it's just something I wanted to quote. Luna's at level 37. This late bloomer is blooming really hard right now. Oh, you're much too strong. I just imagine, like, when Narwhals gets taken out, he, she just lets out a little... Narwhals... And then falls down. <laughs> and when Zatu gets hit, they, she just, like, falls on the ground. Like, Shantae just can't even speak. I think she just mostly speaks through eye movements. She just like twitches her eyes in weird ways and like the rest of the team doesn't understand but Magna- but Zone just like translates perfectly. I'm feeling great today. I feel like I could boot, boot even the league champ. Okay dude, let's check on your team and see if you can actually beat a Pokemon League champion. I don't know Scott, let's see. But yeah, I just imagine like she speaks only through her eye movements. And Zone is just like a pure translator, like, he barely even has like a personality sometimes. All he really cares about is translating their words, and then flying around like a freak and blowing shit up. <laughs> like, I, I don't even think he has emotions. He's he's a Kudere, dude. But he, without the dure, He's just like, yeah, I'm here. He's like, I see Sea King. It's like, yes Zone, you see Sea King, whoa! It's me, Silver the Hedgehog, whoa! I'm going to save the future, whoa! That didn't hit you all that hard, did you, Zone? Whoa! And Zone's like, I see, see, King. <laughs> and then Silver's just like, whoa, you see, Z King? That's no use! <laughs> and he just fucking dies. Silver dies or Sea King dies, I don't know, both of them. Fuck yeah, Sea King! I don't get that meme. The fuck yeah, Sea King. <laughs> That's an old one. I mean, it's like around the same time as Mudkips, but like, Mudkips prevailed, and this fuck yeah, Sea King meme just no, it never went nowhere, man. You never went nowhere. Well, Scott, your team kind of fucking sucked. No, not in this battle. I mean, like, I've got like Pokemon League material right here, so it's like, if you can't beat me, you're not gonna be beating whoever the champion is. I heard the champion is like this strange guy with like. Weird blonde hair. I just want to see what he's up about. Whoa, look at all those badges. I'm impressed. 
But you're not satisfied by just collecting them, right? No, I shove them up my ass every now and again. Just because they feel good. <laughs> anyway, destroy Richard. Richard. Oh, shit. We fought... We found Luna's brother. Well, I mean, I guess Zone's gonna take care of it first. I, I, we could also view it as, like, Zone being protective over Luna. Like, he's got no... Maybe he is very Kudere. Like, he doesn't show emotions. He's very logical. And he's, like... He'll only translate their words, but he's very defensive for, like, Luna in particular. Because he sees Luna as, like, you know, the late bloomer. So, he's defending her against her brother. But she just wants to kill him. Zone's just doing it anyway. Believe in Zone. We, we stand Zone right here. <laughs> Anyway, it's gonna take forever, you're almost dead. Now Luna will come in and mop the shit out of him. Or just <laughs> get a paralyzed. That works, alright, kill him! That worked. I can't believe that worked! Oh, it, it worked. Anyway, zone crew to level 36. Very good. Richard is dead! Good battle. Also, it's kind of nice to not have to worry about um, Luna's happiness anymore, because it was so annoying to deal with. Happiness evolutions are just really annoying. Anyway. Hello there. Your Pokemon look a little tired. You should rest them a while. Yeah, there's a very nice rest point right here. There. Your Pokemon are looking good. Keep at it. I will keep at the bones inside of me. Repel's effect wore off. Oh, that sucks. Anyway, I've got my full team back up. So that means that I'm doing pretty dang good. I'm Diddy Kang. I'm just avoiding fights uh, if I can. You got some long range. By experiencing tough battles, you gain power. I mean, I guess so. I could come back and kill those people, but like, you know, I'm waiting on narwhals to be part of the team again. It's Gavin! <laughs> Not with an I, it's spelled with an E for some reason. Shantae, you got this. Just fly all over his ass. It's kind of weird, like, Shantae's faster than Victory Bell, which is really weird in my book. Ah, boy. Water, good. Especially when you're not feeling good. When you're not feeling good, water is probably the best thing you should drink. You gotta get that hydration in. Also, she got a crit on him. Crit on him, damn it! Damn, a thousand and three hundred and nine. All right, should I? I should probably switch out to like. Z Zoe doesn't have any ground type moves though. I'm just like Zoe doesn't do anything. Sadly, Zoe only plays a very min minuscule role right now due to the lack of like a move that actually hits well. So it's just like she's just kind of there. So for now, we just have to, like, power through with Bella. It really sucks that we don't have anything, like, really good for that. Either way, Bella's fucking wrecking this guy. You're gonna die, Jimmy. You're gonna die. You're almost dead. Now you're dead. <laughs> just thought I'd like, give you a little warning. Like, you're almost dead. Almost dead. Almost dead. Almost dead of the world. Gavin sent out Kingler. Don't worry, dude. I have a Thunder Punch. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I told you not to worry, because you'd be dead soon. Kingler? More like Kinger. I have I have not watched more than episode one of The Amazing Digital Circus. Amazing Digital Asshole. Uh, life is even tougher. Yeah. Joey! Joey, you're not League material. I'm sorry, jo Joseph. You and your Brooklyn rage can stay away. I'm just like, please stop speaking to me, Joey. Can I just block him? There's a phone. Isn't there a block function? Just be like, I don't want to speak to fucking Joey no more. Okay, I'm just trying to avoid fights. God damn you. Okay, well, I should probably end this episode here anyway, because we're at like 46 minutes. So, next time on Pokemon Silver, we're going to go ahead get to the Indigo Plateau. And before I end this episode, I want to thank all of my YouTube members, including the Disciples of Epsilon, Valric, Amber, 
and Fenix, the Epsilon Sage, Spirit Rosewolf. Without you all, this channel wouldn't stay afloat. So thank you for all your support, and I'll see you guys next time!